Hey, how's it going? Alex here from Ideaspot, and in today's WordPress tutorial, we're going to be learning how to use the all-in-one migration WordPress plugin. So in this tutorial, we're going to be using a plugin called All-in-One WP Migration to take a WordPress website and move it from one domain to another. For this example, I've got a temporary website that I made over at print.ideaspot.site. We're going to take this website, it's just a basic sort of t-shirt printing style website. And we're going to take this website from this domain and we're going to move it over to limeprints.com. So I've just got a blank WordPress website, just a totally fresh install here. So we're going to take this one and we're going to copy it and we're going to move it over here. Now for this, we're just going to be using the free version of all-in-one WP migration, 2 million installs. It's one of the most popular WordPress plugins overall. And this is just going to be a beginner level tutorial. So if this sounds interesting, keep watching. So the first step is where you start at the website that you've built and you want to move. So I'm at print.ideaspot.site. That is the um, finished website that I'm going to move. I'm over in the dashboard, uh, dashboard here and I'm under plugins and add new. And we're going to look for this plugin called All-in-One WP Migration. So I just typed All-in-One here in the search bar and this is the one here. I've already installed and activated it, but you just click install and activate that plugin. So once that's all installed and active, you'll get the all-in-one WP migration option here in your dashboard menu, and we're gonna to go to export. So from the export menu, we're gonna click this little thing here, export to, and that little hamburger, and we're gonna export it to the file. So there's lots of different things you can export to, but in the free version, it's pretty much just limited to file. So let's go ahead and click that one, and it is going to prepare to export. Now this can take a little bit of a, uh, a wait, so just be patient while this loads. So we can see here that our site has a bit over 9,000 content files. So um, at the moment we're at 0% complete. Just gotta let this run and be patient, especially if you're on shared hosting. It can take maybe 10, 15 minutes. If you've got a really big site, it can take even longer. So um, just let this tick away. I'll just come back and wait for this to finish. Okay, so that might take about 10 minutes or longer depending on the size of your website. But as soon as it's finished, it'll start um, flashing there in green that you can download the whole website. In this case, I've got 300 megabytes, but yours will be different from that. Go ahead, click download and just wait for that to download. That's gonna take a couple minutes to download. So let's just skip ahead to where that's finished. Okay, now that that's completely downloaded, we can go ahead and click close here. Now, one nice thing about this is that after you've actually done an export to a file, you can find the um, file under your backups here. It'll save a copy locally on your WordPress install. So we can see here the actual file has been backed up onto our WordPress um, install. So you can go ahead and download it anytime you want. You don't have to worry about that previous download thing. Or if you don't want it taking up space on WordPress, you can go ahead and delete it there too. But I've got the complete file downloaded onto my hard drive. Let's go ahead and import that onto our new website. So let's head over to the new website, that's limeprints.com and make sure you're logged in and go ahead, go to your dashboard and we're going to want to do the same thing. We're going to want to install all-in-one WP migration, exactly the same steps. It's just going to plugins, add new, search for the plugin and install and then activate. Once you've done that, go to all-in-one WP migration and we are going to want to import now here we want to talk a little bit about upload size because by default WordPress can be quite limited in terms of upload size. In this case I've been limited to 300 megabytes but some shared hosting might limit you even smaller like 50 or 20 megabytes even. So um, they've got a little link here. You can follow this link and you can find out how to increase the maximum upload file size. So that will take you to here and there's a few different ways to do it. So uh, you can edit your HD access file, you can update your WP config file, you can contact your hosting provider, but the easiest option is use their free little plugin. It's called import. And if you go ahead and click that, it'll take you to here. So it allows you to import basic sites under 512 megabytes. And most WordPress sites that aren't too big are gonna come under this 512 megabyte size. You can go ahead and download that free plugin. So just go ahead and click download. 
that'll download there. If you've got a really big website, you can get an unlimited license here. It's $69 for lifetime license. But in this case, our website was only 300 megabytes. So we can go ahead and get that free one for this demonstration. So I've gone ahead and downloaded that one. From here, we just head back to our limeprints.com dashboard and we are going to want to upload that zip file that we just downloaded. So we go to plugins and add new. And in this case, we are going to upload the plugin and we're going to choose that file that we just downloaded. So here we just click choose file and we find our file we just downloaded, the all-in-one WP migration file extension.zip. Go ahead and open that one and then click install now. And we just wait for that to install. There we go, it'll say plugin installed successfully. Now we can activate the plugin. Let's go ahead and click that one. Now with the plugin activated, we should be able to import our website. So all in one migration, click import. Now from here, we're going to import from a file and we are gonna find our website file. That is the .wpress file here. So that's our file that we wanna import and go ahead and click open. And now this can take a little while. So wait for this to hit 100%. Go ahead and grab a cup of tea or something and just wait for that to finish. There we go. It's just ticking away. And you'll get this little warning message saying that the import process will overwrite your website. Um, make sure you're okay with that and then click proceed. So here it says it's restoring the nine and a half thousand files from the old website. Um, we're putting it onto our new server and it does take a little while so again just be patient and wait for this to finish so after a while with any luck you'll get the message that your site has been imported successfully and then you can go ahead and click finish but just make sure you check these couple points here save permalink structure and review the plugin but uh, you definitely want to do that you don't have to review the plugin obviously but i'll show you how to do the permalinks thing in a second okay so we click finish and from here, let's go to our settings and permalinks are down there. Now, straight after you've done the migration, you're gonna get asked to log back in because your password and username credentials are gonna match what the original website was. So that was back over on um, printideaspot.site. Whatever your username and password was on the old version is what you're gonna to have to log in on with the new version. Now that we are logged back in, we are in our settings and under permalinks. And all you have to do is, uh, I'm using post name. That's probably the best one to be using, but whatever you're using, just scroll down to the bottom and click save changes. And that'll just make sure the permalinks have been resaved after the migration. That was just one step just to make sure it all works properly. And now with any luck, our lineprints.com website should be all good to go. So let's go ahead and visit the site. Let's open that in a new tab, shall we? So there we go, it's worked perfectly. We have our copy of our website at lineprints.com now. And so we all we did was we took our website from printideaspot.site. That was sort of our staging site that we used to build our website. And then when we we're ready to publish our website, we moved it across to lineprints.com. So that was only a few clicks. It did involve a little bit of waiting around, but very easy, very non-technical. It is much easier than trying to migrate a WordPress site manually. That little plugin with its extension was able to do it quite simply. So really enjoyed using it. You can see why it has 2 million installs because that was quite a pain-free process. Obviously the main limitation was that it is limited to 512 megabytes or less for the website. I think for you, most websites are gonna be under that anyway, but if you do have to migrate a very large website, It'll cost $70, uh, $69 to upgrade that. That price might change over time anyway, and there might be specials, but at the moment, that's what it costs. And if we go over to the uh, surfmask.com website, you can see all the other extensions they do. Probably the most valuable one is that unlimited extension that lets you do any size of website. The other one that's kind of cool is multi-site extension. If you run a multi-site network, you can actually uh, import and export any sub-sites. So if that's what you're into, that one's pretty good too. That one is a little bit more expensive. And then besides that, there's lots of different uh, methods of importing and exporting if you need to uh, implement that. Say you're using Google Drive or using Amazon S3, you can import and export through different kinds of cloud storage. So that can really speed things up 
if that's what your enterprise or your agency uses. So lots of different support for these different extensions. And so like we said before, the unlimited extension, uh, it uh, removes the limitation of 512 megabytes. That's only $69. And the other one was the multi-site. I thought that was kind of cool, but that is uh, nearly $200. So uh, if you've got a big multi-site network, that might be kind of cool to look at. But I mean, for most people, the free version you can get away with and you can do uh, 90% of your jobs with just that free version. So you can see why it's quite popular. If it's been useful, uh, give me a thumbs up, uh, drop a like and say hi in the comments and just uh, let me know how things are going. Let me know if it was useful and uh, let me know what other things you'd like me to make videos on because I've been really enjoying helping you guys and I'm going to come out with another video as soon as I can. So stay tuned for that. Click subscribe if you want to make sure you catch the next one. So uh, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.